comedian David Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. So the old six car pile up on the way home from work tonight took two fucking hours to get home. Plus a detour. I was sitting in traffic not moving for about an hour and then I looked at the fucking petrol gauge and things were looking pretty fucking grim. I had one bar left and I had an hour to travel and I was going nowhere. So I had to crawl forward to the closest exit, which was 1.9 kilometers and took me half an hour. And on the way past, I saw the six car pile up and it just stock standard. Someone at the front, it was a BMW. Must have slammed on their brakes. I don't know how fast the traffic was going, but a couple of the cars got pretty fucking worked. But the Beamer, not too much happened to that. There was another car. There was a little truck in there as well that got fucked up. But just six in a row, bumper to bumper. Bam, 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 bam. Hold up traffic, two hours. Anyway, a traffic jam is good thinking time. And I've been thinking about this lately. I've been thinking about the colonization of the US and the colonization of Australia because what I think has happened is the US was like almost an experimental colony. Let's send some cunts there, see what happens. We'll rule it, obviously. This is what the crown's thinking, the king or the queen, whoever the fuck was around. I think it was king, but they had no idea what they were doing really. So they just sent a bunch of cunts over to the US. The people they sent over were a wily bunch and it just descended in chaos from the crown's point of view, from England's point of view. It got out of control. The people wanted their freedoms. They ended up revolting. There was a revolution And England eventually fucking lost it. The US became a republic. And I honestly, I feel like somehow cloak and dagger under the dark of night, they got it back in some way. But anyway, that didn't happen in Australia. Australia, I feel like, I I would like to know if there's like a comparative history between the colonization of Australia and the US because I feel like England and the Crown fixed up all the mistakes they made with the US colonization when they colonized Australia because Australians are so fucking compliant. There is absolutely no spirit of revolution in the Australian body. There's spirit of crime. We're all criminals, but An organized revolution to overthrow a corrupt government, that's just not in us. So what I think happened was they gave the original Australians, the convicts, just enough. They didn't fully clamp down like they did in the US. They gave us just enough to shut the fuck up and do what you're told. With the US, I think England thought they were going to rule the US colony the same way they ruled England, just feudal overlords just taking whatever they want with a population of fucking slaves. And once fucking those raggly, taggly fucking Catholics and Quakers and fucking Huguenots or whatever the fuck they were, the Anglicans, the Anglicans were the fucking English, once they got on the fucking brown dirt of the USA... They tasted a little bit of that freedom and they were like, I'm not giving this up for anything. And they also became savage, savage murderers. But anyway, that didn't really happen in Australia. And we're still not a republic. We're still under the queen or the king. We've never departed from England's rule. How wild is that? We have a prime minister of Australia, but that isn't even the highest office in Australia. The highest office in Australia is the Governor General, which is appointed by the Queen, who's dead, but I'm never calling Charles the King. He's Prince Charles, and he's a pedophile. 
So the Governor General of Australia can actually sack the Prime Minister and most people say it's like a ceremonial role, but the Governor General did sack one of our Prime Ministers, Gough Whitlam. I'm pretty sure it was Gough Whitlam, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I want to look into what happened with the colonisation of Australia because we just don't have the same spirit of revolution. Something sad happened in Tasmania like fucking 30 years ago and every single Australian just handed their guns to the government. And honestly, life has always been pretty decent here. They've always given you just enough not to rebel, not to fucking complain. She'll be right. That's our national saying, she'll be right. So they slowly, because this is what happens, it will slowly descend into a tyranny. It happens every single time. There's no time in history that a ruling government hasn't become oppressive, authoritarian, dictatorial. It happens every single time. Given a long enough time span, it happens. It will always happen. So eventually, the lucky country, which Australia likes to call itself, will turn. And I just don't know if the people have the appetite or the nous or the fucking DNA to overthrow a tyrannical government when it does happen. I have faith that America will do that. They'll probably fight each other for a little while, but then I think they'll be like, hey, 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 why are we fighting each other? Let's go after the people that caused this. And then they'll take office and become tyrannical as well. So I, I want to study that. I'm going to look into what the difference between the colonization of Australia and the US were. What different conditions? What were some of the fucking perks that Australians got that the US didn't? I know the convicts got given land pretty early on, which gives you an incentive to work, at least on your land, and when you own something, you feel a part of it. So I think the land thing, I, I know in the US, early US, you had to be an indentured slave for like 10 years before you got your freedom. <laughs> and I don't even think, I think they gave you a little bit of land, but 10 years as a slave, and this is just white people, black people were just slaves, but the white people were slaves too, some of them. So I feel like when Australia was formed, they were like, hey, let's just ease back on the nine years a slave. Let's just make them slaves for four years or five years and give them a little bit of land. We don't want another fucking revolution like we had in the US, all right? We will still be taxing them. We will still be their feudal overlords, but they won't really know. They'll think they have freedom. Anyway, that's what I thought about in the traffic. If anyone knows a good book about that, I'm all ears. Anyway, that'll do for today. I've been in the traffic, so the Degeni Diaries are going to have to come out fucking tomorrow. I haven't got the fucking will or the energy to do it today. So, yeah, that'll do, and I'll see you the fuck later.